Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Stefan Pastine. I'm co-founder and CTO at Kenora Technologies. Uh, Kenora was founded to solve a problem facing energy efficient transportation. Today, we're using lightweight plastics, composite materials to make everything from consumer products to wind energy, to aviation, and now cars. Um, <laughs> now cars. Um, and for the uh, uh, transportation industry, we, we need to make these vehicles lighter, and the materials we need to do that are just not recyclable. Here's why it's a problem. Composites are really expensive. They cost about five to 10 times the cost of traditional materials like steel. Manufacturing waste is also high. It's about 10 to 40%. If you add that together, it's easy to understand the amount of money that's being wasted here. Here's how Kenora is solving this problem for OEMs. We supply the manufacturer our technology. We call it Recyclamine. This gets implemented into the plastic now when the product is made, in this case, a carbon fiber car chassis, all of that production waste can be recycled, separated back into the indi individual components, plastic and fiber, and be reincorporated back into the car. Here's the bottom line. For every car manufactured with our technology in the future, we can save the OEM about $165 in raw material value. You scale that out to one car line, 40,000 cars, at $6.6 .6 million in savings. You translate that across one car company and we're talking between two to three billion dollars. So because of this opportunity, Kenora is keenly focused on solving this problem for the auto industry. Uh, we're working with a recognized leader in this area. It's our goal to set the stage to define the system early as the rest of the auto industry begins to adopt composites. How do we get here and where we're going? I, founded the, 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 I, f I invented the technology coming out of UC Berkeley. After about two years of R&D efforts, we defined a product line. This enabled us to get investment from Samsung Ventures. We hired an awesome CEO, Ray. He has a ton of startup experience, and, he's a, and he has a venture capital background. Just this year, we signed a manufacturing partnership with a key global chemical company. Our product is getting scaled now. And we're going to take this material in the beginning of 2016, enter the sporting good markets, the furniture markets, and we're on track to be in a concept car next year. And lastly, funding. Uh, we're looking to close a five to seven million dollar Series A round in the middle of next year. We'd be happy to talk to you about any of that uh, after, afterwards. And if not, stay tuned. Thank you. So help me out, I missed that, and, and I'm probably slow on the uptake, is recyclamine essentially an epoxy that uh, allows for the, the reclamation process to go easier on the back end? Uh, exactly. So we redesign one of the components in the plastic, and it makes the entire system net recyclable. So does this apply to the existing components of automobiles, or are they going to have to redesign the cars in order for the storage? It, right, it's, it's a great question. It's a drop-in replacement, so we're just swapping out one of the chemicals that they already use with our chemical, and that's how it works. Yeah. And at the end of the life of the car, are your composites recyclable? Right, that is also true. So that's the environmental benefit as well. And, and secondarily, it, with the composites in the automobiles, is it light weighting so that there's a fuel economy? Exactly. So there are stringent um, CO2 emission regulations coming on board and, and gas emissions, so they have to make the cars lighter. What do we know about recyclamine in terms of its toxicity or anything that, uh, have, you, have you done a life cycle assessment to it to understand, is this a better substitute than, than what you're pulling out of the, of the composites as it is? Sure. It's a great question. So we've done a life cycle analysis. We're continuing to do that with the university in Italy. Um, preliminary thing I can tell you is it's a lot better than land building, and it's a lot better than burning it. Um, but I, can't, I don't want to give you hard numbers right now until it's finalized. Do you have a, a plans for a take back program in partnership with the car companies that you'll be working with? Right, that's, um, you know, there's certainly a business for us around recycling. Um, that's not our current model, but I can easily see us going in that direction. Uh, it really depends on the size of the manufacturer. For smaller manufacturers, they just want us to get rid of their waste problem. And for larger manufacturers, I think it makes sense to recycle on site. So, I mean, as we scale, we'll have to deal with those problems. 
Do you have to build up the infrastructure within the, uh, the, the recycling uh, process to, to be able to handle recycling in, in, the, uh, in the composites? We have to further define the industrial realization of the, the recycling process, because it is new. So it won't, it won't go to a recycling center today and get recycled. Is that reverse logistics to back to you, to, to your company to handle? Or is this uh, through a suite of partners that you have that are, are prepared to, to work with recycling? Yeah, we're talking to third party recyclers, um, but we're still, we're still figuring out. Today we do everything, so we recycle the waste as we develop the technology with the manufacturer to prove it to them. But I think long term, either that will be our focus or a third party's focus.